that are involved in this bus and the tanker. Luckily, the tanker was carrying diesel, it has been secured. But we're still urging people not to be near this tanker because it still has fuel. And we still want to add one inch to move away from here. Secondly, uh, we have had uh, two fatalities so far. And around uh, uh, 11 people who are still being attended to, two have been taken to uh, Eldoret, referral, and nine are still at the hospital here, some two minors and others, around 11 people in the building, I mean nine people who are still in Busia who are being attended to. And we are going to be seeing how they are making progress. I've just talked to the doctors, they said they are stable. And we are praying that they are going to get the attention and the medical help that they need. But one thing that we have to urge our people, please, when you see this kind of accidents, especially which involves tankers, don't rush, allow the emergency people to do their work. Because it is so dangerous, it's just lucky that the tanker did blow up as I can say. Secondly, we are also aware that this is a major road and we want to urge all concerned parties. This is a very important corridor for Eastern Central African trade, but you have seen this road is really worn out. And it's so narrow, it's worn out, and it is becoming a hazard. So we'll also be urging and engaging uh, the national government to see what measures can be done for this corridor. Because we have got two corri main corridors here that deal with the Eastern Central African trade. That is the Malaba Eldoret Corridor and the Kisumu Busia Corridor. But the, this road, I think, from the 70s has just been patched up. And uh, the kind of traffic that we are now having, it needs to be done. I know there were efforts, some negotiations, the African Development Bank, but we need to move with speed.